Your degree was a lie, skills are everything, that's what industry says. And at the same time, when you pass out, many of your seniors will say, don't go for, go for a job, prepare for CS and attend chemistry and do a PhD because after PhD you'll get a better job. But nobody tells you that during your PhD life, you're going through a lot of struggle, financial as well as academic struggle. So I'm here to clear the cloud, clear the smoke, tell you crystal clear things about both sides. So most people say, go for a CS and after your master's in chemistry. So it's like, you know, telling that go another, go study more seven years. But most of you will be like, no, no, I don't want to study seven years. Let me get a job, right? Now, here is the middle path, which will fix everything for you. If you, instead of going for CSIN at immediately, look for a job, just do a two, three months of upskilling program at uh, Rasainika. So we have uh, AIML in chemistry, chem informatics, drug discovery and training program. You can take that and then get a job because we will provide you placement assistance. So you got a job, right? Two, three months of training and you got a job. Once you've got the job, you start, uh, you know, working nine to five. So your job is now paying you while you prepare for CSN because nobody tells you that qualifying CSN also can take up to 12 to 18 months because it's massive syllabus, right? 85,000 people will write this exam. So you have to be ready. So now, once you have got the job, prepare for CSI net with Rasayanika. Okay, we have CSI net and chemistry available. And then, you know, uh, qualify and go for a PhD. But of course, remember, you have to make your mind that PhD is going to be a struggle. It's going to be an academic struggle because it's not a regular course. It's exploration. It's innovation in the dark. At the same time, financially you'll struggle because the incentives, uh, the, the stipend can be late, it will be less and um, you'll find, you know, sometimes that your um, people in the industry are growing faster. So you have to keep your mind intact on CSI net and PhD. Once you have qualified PhD, of course, you get a high salary job. There's no doubt about that. But with super specialization, then the number of jobs gets narrower. So you have to, you have only a couple of companies which you can focus. So do your PhD in something which is industry oriented, right? And then go for it. So I hope this clears the cloud for all of you. But if you if you have more questions, put them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply to you or make a special video on that. All the best.